Oh, traders, pardon me. Now, I do apologize for the background noise. My dog um, knows my cat is in the bedroom, but she'll come down soon, so hopefully she doesn't make too much noise. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is this is a monthly recap. Now, I realized pretty much nothing has changed since I made. It would have been my weekly update that I would have made exactly this time last week, which would have been... Um, February I would have made it on the 23rd or the 24th the 24th so I haven't actually I didn't take any trades this week I'm down uh, around $50 I think it was $54 so I've taken as you can see not too many trades and uh, it you know I, I hate to make excuses but it is difficult for me to sometimes get to market open and things like that so in the background a little bit I have been working on some swing trade ideas um, there's been nothing really worth taking. My MTI is one of them uh, as a short, but I um, haven't really executed that. Really, I'd like to see a um, breakthrough, you know, 170 ish support level before I think about doing that, really. Right now, it's very range bound and it will just be frustrating to be in. So, um, you know, overall, uh, you know, the markets have been pretty uneventful. I was talking, this can be a, a bit of a recap as well from. Yesterday, what I was discussing with NVAX as well, which uh, sort of just trickled down and didn't really offer much of a bounce. There was a little bit of support there, so I might have actually taken that, but it only went up to you know the 250s, and I probably would have got out there. So a few cents a share gain, maybe would have been fifty dollars uh, potentially, but absolutely, definitely wouldn't really been able to make that. That had been eleven o'clock. I was up <clears throat> at two in the morning, so can you see that's just, <laughs> you know I was talking about it though at least. So I'm I'm looking at charts and I'm discussing things and um, you know really at least I'm I'm prepared for when I do have some free time uh, next week. Market close I'll be able to get to because I've got nights. I'll just stay up until um, you know market closes at five a.m. Perth time, and then the following week I've got five days off. So you know. But it's definitely interesting to see how things have just transitioned from, you know, absolute mania to pretty, you know, dull, very dull. Next CD, much interest anymore. MGTI, obviously, I've talked about this a little bit. Again, closing below $2. So. We'll see what happens here. Um, Bitcoin's up a little bit, but this is a real, they did a heavy dilution of shares, so it's, it's it, it could really just trickle down and down and down and down and so we'll see we'll see though I mean with you know the stocks and the Nasdaq taking a bit of a hit there is potential that people could hedge with the cryptos but it might not you know who knows it might just get crazy again but currently right now what I'm seeing is you know there's there's, there's really no trade there at all it's reviewing what I've had up ANTH uh, there's a real Play there, CHK. Nothing really to discuss. I will be putting out a watch list and I will actually be trading um, tonight. So there'll be a watch list and then hopefully some live trading. But we'll see. It's too early to have anything up on the top of CHK to really discuss upon. But yeah, so it's around fifty dollars in the red. Uh, look, I was I was relatively pleased with how I how I cut losses quickly. There was one trade, I think it was this one, I believe, where I left the room and you, you know, really, 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 <laughs> yeah, the TROV trade. So if you take that out of consideration, it would have been pretty much a flat month. So, you know, that's the first time I've done that. Lessons learned, don't get, and I was thinking to myself, I had a moment to just say close a trade out and I didn't. So, but still definitely learning, very small position sizing. Um, you know, I learn things a little bit slower than, you know, some other people. So that's, you know, these, I haven't really done too many trades on this in my opinion. So I think it's around 39 or so. What does it start at? It starts at 2. Oh, okay, it keeps going. So it's 40, 40 trades. So, you know, I wouldn't really say, I mean, again, 
Um, I'm really pleased with you know how I cut losses quickly, maybe a little bit too quickly, but what I definitely do need to work on is when a trade is running um, to really let it go until it justifies itself that it's um, you know what it's done with the move, so to speak. But anyway, guys, just a brief video. Uh, watch list to come later, probably around uh, 8.30 New York time. And that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. Good luck for uh, today, everyone. Bye.